Okay, let us do question number five. Yeah, question number five. The first three terms of an AP are M. So let's write it out. And uh, 2M minus 2 and 2M plus 1 and so forth. So this is an AP. Yeah, the first term, second term and the third term. And it says for A, find the value of M. So you're looking for M, yeah? Now, students tend to find this a difficult uh, question because there's nothing there. There You don't have A, A is M, you don't have D, and uh, you, you they're not asking for TN or T, T8 or T, T7 or whatever. So now, if you're looking for M and look at the M is an unknown, right? In order to find M, yeah, your thinking, your thinking skills should be like this. How can I form an equation? Because M is an unknown. In order to find an unknown, one unknown, you need one equation. How can I form an equation? That means you have to find a relationship between this M and this M and this M. This and this and this. How do you relate them? They are related by a common difference. Remember, AP has a common difference. So D would equal to T2 minus T1. That means it is 2m minus 2 minus m. So that means it's 2m minus m is m minus 2. Then the students will get stuck here. Oh, okay, there's still an m here. How am I supposed to find it? Well, you can find d using another method. d is also t3 minus t2, which is 2m plus 1 minus 2m minus 2. Now, please remember to put a bracket because this is t3. This is t3. And this is T2, so T3 minus T2, right? So now you have to put a bracket. If not, you will get it wrong. So 2M minus 2M, there's no more. And then, so 1 minus minus 2, that means 1 plus 2. So that is a 3. So D is 3. See, you can straight away get your D is 3. That means M minus 2 is equals to 3. So that would mean that M is equals to 5. So this is how you get your M, by looking for a relationship between all the M's that you have. That means this minus this is equal to this minus this. Yeah, take note, yeah, this is a common question. It is simple, but it is common. All right, let's look at B. Find the value of the seventh term of the progression. That means you're looking for T7. Equals to A plus N minus 1D, right? So now the A, you have to find the A. So what you have to do is to substitute your M. You found your M, right? Substitute your M into the, uh, the progression here. So let's write the progression. M is 5. 2M minus 2 would be 2 times 5 minus 2. And that would be 2 times 5 plus 1. So your progression is 5, 8, uh, 11, and so forth. Since your D is 3, right? So now you can substitute this in. T7 would equal to, the A is 5. N is 7 minus 1, that is 6. And D is 3, right? You found your D is 3. So that's 5 plus 18, and that gives you 23. So T7 has the value of 23, and that is number 5. Okay, let's do number 6. Number 6. All right, number six, you have to form equations again. Eh? Let's look at it. The 12th term and the 18th term of an AP are 50 and 74. 12th term means T12 is 50. And the 18th term means T18 is 74. Find the first term and common difference. So now you are going to look for the A and you're going to look for the D. So if you notice, there is no progression. You don't know a, you don't know term 1, term 2, term 3. There is no progression, so you've got to find the A and the D to form the progression. Okay, so you have to form two equations because there are two unknowns. There's A and D here. How do you form the two equations? There, you've written it out. T12 is 50. How do you get T12? A plus N minus 1, D equals 50, right? In this case, the N is 12. 12 minus 1, so A plus 11, D is 50. And this is your first equation. And let's do this. A plus 18 minus 1, that is 17D equals to 74. And this is your second equation. Okay, so uh, solve these two equations and you will have your A and D. So how do you solve it? Let's write this down here. You may use elimination method because you can see A and A here. 
17D equals to 74. Let's bring it down here. And uh, I like to do it this way. Draw a straight line. So can you see that if I eliminate A by minus 2 minus 1, I will use 2 to minus 1. Equation number 2 minus equation number 1 because equation number 2, all the numbers are bigger so that I don't get a negative. So A minus A, no more. 17 minus 11 is 6D. 74 minus 50 is 24. And straight away you get your D is 4. And then substitute this D is 4 into one of the equation here. So sub D is 4 into 1. Okay, I will sub it into 1 because... 1 is a smaller number than 2. <laughs> Always pick the one with the smaller numbers. It's easier to do. Alright, so sub this, that would be A plus 11, D is 4, equals to 50. So A is 50 minus 44, that is 6. So D is 4 and A is 6. So that's it, you have found 6A. Let's look at 6B now. 6B says, find the 50th and the 100th terms of the AP. So we're still looking at the same AP, same question, yeah? Find the 50th and the 100th. That would be easy because you have found your D and your A, right? So you are now looking for T50. That would be A plus N minus 1D again, right? The formula, because you're looking for T50, Tn. So A is 6, you found A is 6. N is 50 minus 1 is 49. Common difference is 4. So solve this. 6 plus 49 times 4 is 202. So T50 is 202. And now T100 would be same thing. 6 plus N is 100 minus 1. That's 99 and D is 4. So count this and you get 402. Simple uh, method to answer question number Six. Okay, let's very quickly look through number seven. Okay, because we are all doing TNs now, yeah? How the question changes uh, in relation to TN. Okay, number eight. Number eight is a problem solving question and it, it is actually an SBM question, yeah? Year 2004. Number seven, sorry. We are doing number seven. Number seven. And uh, that is SPM 2004 paper 1 clone question. Yeah. Okay, it says that the volume of a liquid in a container is 325 liters on the first day. Okay, so let's write it out first. 325 liters on the first day. Subsequently, 5 liters of liquid is added to the container every day. So subsequently, the next day, it adds 5. Okay, let's forget about the L. So the next day, the container will have 330 liters, right? And the following day would have 335, right? According to the question, calculate the volume in liters of liquid in the container at the end of the ninth day. So can you see that you've got to form your own progression? The first day is 325. So this would be your T1. The second day, add 5 to it, right? So this would be your T2 and this would be your T3. So now you are looking for the ninth day. That means you are looking for T9. So form your, e form your equation, form your progression and find your A and your D. In this case, the A would be the first day, which is 325. And the D is what you add to it every day, like, which they have given you is 5. Yeah. So now you are looking for T9. Very simple, right? T9 equals to A plus n minus 1 is 8 and d is 5. Cool. So that's 3 to 5 plus 40. So that is 365 liters at the end of the ninth day. Simple, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Now, in the next video, we're going to do sum of an arithmetic progression. Yes. Yeah? Sum of the first n term of an arithmetic progression. It, it will get harder progressively as we move along. Okay? Right, I'll see you in the next video.